Welcome back. Today we're going to be making some sort of weird uh, lemon water thing with condensed milk which since I still don't know the policies for copyright on YouTube I decided to de-branch. <clears throat> so anyways what we need is well obviously lemon um, condensed milk and obviously some ice if you want to drink it uh, cold which I think is the best way to actually drink lemon water juice thing anyways here we go this recipe is a bit curious because we actually need to uh, put the whole lemon for this I am going to show you a small trick first of all obviously um, cut the lemon on a plate because that way the juice is going to stay on the plate and it's not going to make your table dirty okay so the trick here as you can see is to first cut that little bit part and then we're going to cut this other part and then just well look at what I'm going to do next okay so after you have cut down those two parts the next one is going to be make a, a little cut in here as you can see there's the, the opening and what you're going to do is you're going to skin that lemon like if it was some sort of I better not make this comment anyways so you're gonna skin this lemon and just use the, the tip of your knife if needed but this should be pretty easy to do with your hands now that once that you have cut your lemon you will end up with this prickly pear looking lemon what we're going to do is we're gonna cut this into pieces now you also will end up with a, a lot of uh, the skin, the zest, I don't know how it's called um, this one you can actually grind it at, like yeah I think that's the word like grind it, grind it and use it as a topping for each glass of this weird looking water milk stuff anyways so um, something that I noticed here uh, well I'm gonna tell you the amounts we're actually going to use uh, the lemons the original recipe and my cousin just pointed out that every time I say this but I'm gonna say it again uh, the original recipe calls for three lemons but you know those American lemons are big these ones however were not so big but still bigger than the ones I have so I am going to use four and I think I'm gonna use that holding oh there's a mosquito in there anyways uh, I'm gonna use this holding so I'll be right back after you have co uh, cut down all the pieces cut them into pieces that will be uh, easy for your blender to destroy then you will require about 800 milliliters of water which is the same as uh, around three and something glasses of water and as I was reading it turns out that we actually do require the cyst or the, the skin or the peel or however you call it so I'm gonna throw a little bit I'm gonna save some uh, it's just wait, it's way too little but uh, I'm gonna show you uh, a little candy recipe that I once watched on YouTube and I will obviously link the original poster uh, because I don't want to take the credit from him but I will show you that okay just a, just a minute first things first the water now that you have your milk like that oh no wait we're not going to throw that thing just yet unless you want chunky bits of lemon in your water if you want them like that then you can sure go ahead and drop the condensed milk in there but if you only want to drink the milk or water or whatever this thing is then we gotta pass it through um, one of those metal things with holes whatever the name is so that it filters the chunks what you're gonna do is just pass the juice in there and you're gonna pass the, the um, well, the bones and all the things that 
may have been left in there. I mean, not bones, seeds. Sorry, I translated that one literally. After punching a little bit of, I mean, after hitting this one with your knuckles, not much, I mean, you have to hit the handle a little bit, you will find out that there's a lot of the lemon meat, I guess, in there. Uh, this is because obviously it's not going to grind totally and uh, well you don't want to drink this lemon and then suddenly I, I mean lemon juice milk whatever and then suddenly feel these chunks in your mouth it's going to be a little bit annoying at least for me so anyways uh, what we'll do now is we're going to I guess get rid of this I don't think I can use this right now and we're going to pass this water back into the blender now if you were paying attention you may have noticed that the, um, the bottom of my blender had a little bit of lemon chunks you may want to rinse your blender before putting this back on because otherwise you'll end up with chunks we just did a process to get rid of the chunks okay so now in goes the condensed milk like that you may have noticed that my condensed milk looks like it was chewed by um, some sort of weird animal well this is because I don't have one of those things to open the cans the tin can so I actually have to go full caveman style um, to open it. You, if you are underage, I do recommend that you don't do that. And I have to legally say this because you otherwise are going to get hurt. So yeah, if you're underage, just wait for your parents or something. As expected, the liquids have separated because, well, uh, milk and lemon are not the normal combination. That's why I am so curious about this recipe and the result. So let's keep going. Now let me show you that this is not exactly quite liquid. I think it will be better like a piña colada. Ah, I'm just kidding. Like a piña colada. Um, yeah, because it doesn't seem quite liquid. liquid. So yeah, uh, I think it's more a dessert drink than an actual drink that I will drink while um, I don't know eating a beef a piece of beef or, or a burger but then again people drink milkshake when eating a burger so yeah why no why not so there we have it let's see how this tastes um, it needs more sugar into small technical difficulties like me and the water actually tastes like way too sour you can always trust your good old friendly sugar and maybe a little bit of water but that depends so overall it was not that bad mm. I did actually have to add a little bit more of sugar um, but yeah it's not so bad it's actually just like drinking a Carlota if you don't know what a Carlota is and I may make a video sometime in the future and you definitely want to drink this a little bit colder and you definitely require different lemons some lemons that are not so sour I do recommend making a taste test in order to find out if your lemon is going to be too sour or if it's going to be too normal um, uh, well, add the condensed milk I added some sugar 
And here are the little eyes. Eyes? What's the plural of eyes? Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so yeah, uh, the candy recipe is going to be on another video. Or no, maybe this one. Yeah, this one. I think so. No, new video. Uh, I don't know. I'll check it out.